Howdy y'all, this is your host Rof. Welcome back to Love of Games. We're going to continue on our Life is Strange 2 journey. Hopefully uh, make it a lot further without the game crashing. Um, in our last episode, we were uh, just about to raid the pot farm. We stole a truck and the game crashed immediately after us stealing the truck. I have no idea where we are now. But uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. We're going to see uh, where it put us. I like how peaceful the music is, and you have the running wolves down below. Please tell me it didn't just freeze again. <sighs> Already one of those. We'll be back. All right, we're back. I uh, uninstalled, reinstalled it on a different hard drive. As it keeps crashing for some reason it was peeking out the hard drive at a hundred percent you do this ready little man yes I'm not scared that's what I like to hear we're gonna be in and out Listen, we have to be totally quiet now. I've got the kitchen keys, so we got an easy entrance. Here you go. Whoa, nice job. Get in, bust that safe, grab the money, then head back to the camp and bail out with everyone. You sure they're gonna be okay with that? They will when they see the money. Trust me, let's move. Hey, Joe, for sure, called Meryl. Man, I've been waiting for this for a long time. You should have told everyone at the camp. Meryl can be cool, but he's still just a fucking crook. He doesn't give a rat's ass about anything but himself. By the way, careful, guys. The place is rigged with cameras. Shit. That camera is aimed right at us. Daniel, see that surveillance camera? Totally. I got it. These are things you really should have like set back and planned out. Okay. I don't think any of this is going to go well. And honestly, you're just coming in here to get your money because he held your money. It was your paycheck. Lights out. See? <laughs> Told you. We got a plan to stick it to the man. We're not done yet. Keep not real, Sean. You're right. <sighs> Who puts bars in a window? We're in the middle of nowhere. Fact. Daniel, can you lift up that bar behind the door? Yeah. I didn't even know that was there. I was just gonna walk around and see if there's any other cameras. There, there are. Like. Check out that one. Boom. Actually, at this window, is there. Can I see. Okay, there's the safe. Now, we just gotta get inside. I know there's a camera in here. 
I remember it. Open that safe easy. Don't worry, little man. Trust me. I know this model. Breakable. Really? Okay. I know you can do it. Thanks. Meryl's sleeping. Check out that one. Boom. Oh, we need to go the other side. There's no way that camera didn't just catch us. We shouldn't be using flashlights. We are literally just lighting up everything. We got this, bro. In and out. Then... Hola, Mexico. Check out that one. Boom. And I damage his vehicle, because he is going to definitely come after us. Alright, does not look like it. But we took out all the cameras that I know of. Better be quiet. And careful. Oh, there's one right there. If we get caught, check out that one. Come on, we're looking around. Living room door. Marilyn and Joseph deserve this. They should have seen it coming. They stole from you. Okay, hold up. Shh. We sneak in. Daniel opens the safe. We grab the money. Then get the fuck out. Sound like a plan? You said that so loud. Well, well, well. Come on in. Come on, Daniel. I've been watching you over the cameras, fucking amateurs. All right. Move your asses over there. Uh, Meryl. Now. Uh, <laughs> boss. <laughs> I know this looks bad, but... Stop. I don't want to hear any more of your shit. Daniel, blow so, up his head. What was your big fucking plan exactly? Work here for a time and then break into my safe? Pathetic. Who was the moron mastermind? Like I didn't know. I gave you punks work when nobody would. A place to crash for free. This is how you repay me? Stealing from me? Uh, no, no. It's not about you. I thought you were different. Smart. But you're a real dumbass for getting a kid involved. And you're teaching him how to steal? Thief and brother of the year. Nice. What now? You all really fucked up. Come on, Daniel. Take him out. Just let this slide. I can't. You're young, but you can learn from mistakes. That doesn't mean your lesson's gonna be easy or painless. Okay. On your knees. Hands on your heads. Don't do this. Don't. Come on, sir. We. We could talk. I'm serious. On your knees, now! Cock meat sandwich? No, discuss. I don't obey him. Wait, let me explain. Oh yeah? Explain this. Uh. All right, Daniel. Blow up his fucking head. Don't insult me by acting like you got a reason to steal. You got a reason to get what's owed to him. You stole from him. Last time, get on your fucking knees. 
Meryl? No. Don't break my balls now, kid. Daniel, you've got this. Don't move. He can't do this. Don't uh. fucking move. It's not like I want to do this. The people I deal with are worse. But if you rip me off, you rip them off. Then I pay. I have a family to look after too. I gotta protect them first. You ripped these kids off first. You chose not to pay them for a week's worth of work. I can't let you play me anymore. You shot. Fucking do it, Daniel. Shot a kid. About time. Fuck up this shit. It's about time. Been waiting for that. Merle can't get away with just robbing him. All peaceful now. That's a hundred and ten percent Meryl's fault. He shouldn't have stole from the kids. They worked. He took all their paychecks. But he honestly got one hundred and ten percent what he deserved. Big Joe with his destroyed vehicles, he got what he deserved too. It looks like a freaking sonic bomb went off in there because nothing's like on fire. Meryl wanted to be all high and mighty talking about stealing, but he stole from them. It looks like that glass in the eye. Well, figure out what happened there, finally. To be continued. That was Life is Strange 3 Wastelands. I'm going to speed that up. 
glad we uh, finished episode three. I hundredfold think Meryl got what he deserved. Because that was some bullshit. He held all their paychecks because Daniel went into the living room. And that includes Finn's and Cassidy's. Not just Daniel and Sean's. So yeah, him being taken out, everything he owns destroyed tenfold. He stole from them first. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Because this was a fast and interesting episode. Very action-packed. Kind of like the last one. We're going to go through here and then uh, probably call it an episode after that. But really interested to know what your views and opinions are of Life is Strange 2 episode 3 finale. Because we just... We definitely took him out. There's no way Meryl's getting up after that. I think he's done for. Now, the question is whether Sean and Finn are done for. Sean's bleeding out the eye and has glass in it. Finn looks dead. So we'll have to find out on the next episode. Now, I'm curious if Daniel passed out. Because if he didn't, he could literally have loaded up Sean and uh, Finn into the truck along with all the money. Wow, there's a lot of people in this one. Alright, well... I think it's just about finished. Yeah, thanks for playing. Let's see what choices we made. We made coffee with the others after drinking the last cup. You hit the target while knife throwing. Uh, you tried to understand Daniel's mention. Understand when Daniel mentioned Karen. You asked Daniel why he doesn't wear his watch. You interfered with Big Joe, slapped Cassidy. Your trimming was average. I thought we would have got like trimmed a lot of buds. We trimmed a lot of buds. You didn't help Daniel with his chores. What chores? I thought we did them all. Uh, you were wasted at the campsite. He stayed up late, got a haircut. Ben came forward when Daniel hit Big Joe. You're in the heist. Oh, so is there was that heist gonna happen no matter what? You were eventually convinced to take part in the heist. You're out of the heist. You and Finn remained friends. You and Finn kissed. Okay, I didn't even know that there was something there. You didn't get a tattoo. You chose a wolf tattoo. You let Cassidy choose your tattoo. You went to the lake and had a midnight swim with Cassidy. Cassie got angry at you. Yeah, she did. She got fucking pissed. Like, legitly got pissed. Oh, we could have kissed her, it looks like. We didn't. Looks like we could have done more, too. Kiss Cassidy. You didn't kiss Cassidy. You entered her tent. You sabotaged Big Joe's vehicle so it wouldn't come after you. How do you steal it without alerting them? Like that, I'm still curious how you do that. You alerted Meryl while sneaking in the house. You snuck into his house without being noticed. You came in after Finn and Daniel broke into Meryl's house. You didn't take the gun from the safe. You told Daniel to use his power and fill. He uses power and Finn wasn't killed. So Finn is alive. So you shot Meryl and Finn was killed. That's zero. Zero people have done that. That means that's a really hard one to get. You did nothing and Finn wasn't killed. You did nothing and Finn was killed. Cassidy wasn't injured. Good thing she wasn't injured. 
see. Daniel didn't wait for you. Daniel did the dishes on his own. Daniel didn't help with the water tanks. Daniel went to sleep alone. Daniel used his power, got injured, and lashed out. Daniel disobeyed, used his power, and got injured. Daniel stayed put, but lashed out after Finn died. Finn was shot, and Daniel lashed out at Sean. I don't know which of these would have been the best. Daniel's gonna lash out no matter what it looks like. Besides this one. I don't know. Those are interesting stats. Sad that we couldn't make things happen with Cassidy. Because I thought those two had uh, chemistry. But I honestly didn't think Kim and Finn had chemistry. I never saw the ability to help Daniel with his chores or him help me with mine. So I actually do feel bad that we didn't get those done. Because I would have helped Daniel. But those were the stats for this episode. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See what happens in episode 4.